And joining us right now on the phone tonight is Wayne County Commission Chair Alicia Bell. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on the phone. I know this is tough for so many people. I know there's a lot of heartache in the city of Detroit because so many people love Sheriff Benny uh, Napoleon. What can you tell us uh, about your relationship with uh, the now uh, late sheriff? Thank you so much for having me. This is yet another devastating loss for Wayne County. Um, Benny Napoleon was so much to so many people, beloved by so many people, and he will sorely be missed. I cannot even imagine, as the prosecutor said, a world here in Wayne County without him. His friends, his family, we will all miss here dearly. I live around the block from him, so not only is he my sheriff, he's also my neighbor. And this is just the most devastating news, and I pray for strength for his family. You know, I, I want to say this to you because back in 2017, I actually got a chance to walk around Cortland Street in the city of Detroit with the sheriff. So if you grew up in that neighborhood, it was amazing to see how many people came out of their homes just to hug him and shake his hand and to say, love you, sheriff. I mean, he, he was a people's man. They, they truly, truly love him in your neighborhood. Absolutely. He is an iconic figure here in Detroit, and he always will be. Right here on Oakman, where we live, his growing up on Cortland, he is iconic. We both went to Cass Tech High School, so this is a devastating loss for all the alumni of Cass Tech High School. Um, certainly a personal loss for me personally because I've known him for over 20 years. My family, um, this is just something that is, is so hard to digest. I, I just can't even believe this at this, at this moment. Such tough news for so many people. Alicia, thank you very much. Alicia Bell, the uh, Wayne County Commission Chair on uh, Benny Napoleon, who passed uh, away this evening at Henry Ford Hospital because of COVID-19. And, you know, before we go on to another phoner, I do want to say this. Um, our colleague, 7 Investigator Ross Jones, actually sent me a text, and he said, uh, Carolyn, I liked him. I know I did a few stories he didn't like, but he, I always admired him because he never took it personal, always took my calls, never shied away from an interview, even if he thought it would not end well. I admired that in him and even more now that is amazing uh from uh, our own ross jones who covered him you and, know all around the city and had a big and had a big heart and uh, supported so many causes um you know within the city and wayne county and beyond and he will certainly certainly be missed for all of those reasons and more all right, we're going to continue to follow the breaking news. Wayne County Sheriff Benny Napoleon dying at the age of 65 following that battle with COVID-19. Joining us over Zoom now is former Wayne County Sheriff Robert Ficano, Wayne County Executive Robert Ficano. Uh, Bob, uh, this is a, a difficult evening, a, a sad evening for so many, and you had a long, long association with Benny Napoleon as well. Yeah, uh, first of all, uh, our condolences to his family and uh, gotten to know his daughter and, and Hilton and all the rest of his family. Uh, everybody, I've known him since I was sheriff. He was Detroit police chief. We worked together a lot. He worked. At and not only was he a professional uh, and he really did his job, but uh, more importantly, he had a very big heart and a, a soft side. It was always about uh, youngsters, about people of the city of Detroit. He wanted to make sure that uh, he took care of the people, of the, especially in the city of Detroit. And he always emphasized that to me. And uh, I'm going to miss him tremendously. We still talked a lot. Uh, we texted back and forth. And uh, uh, I was, I was, you know, it's, it's deeply sad to, to see something like this happen with such a great person. Uh, yes, yeah, so many hearts are heavy for sure. I've gotten so many comments and I know an officer who, who I uh, speak to often said he earned his wings tonight. He was dedicated to the city of Detroit, his, his hometown, and, and he was loved by so many. He was, and, and like I said, he, he had political uh, connections that uh, helped the community in the city. He also was uh, a person uh, that, like I said, had such a big heart. We got together uh, many times for charities. And he would always make sure there was something for the kids, especially around the holiday time. We used to go uh, together and deliver uh, a presents to those uh, youngsters that were in need. And he, uh, he was just a tremendous person that supported the community. 
Well, we, uh, we share in uh, your sadness tonight, uh, Bob Ficano. We thank you for uh, speaking with us this evening on, uh, on your friend, uh, Benny Napoleon, who lost his battle with COVID-19 tonight. Uh, we have more now. I think we have another uh, person on the phone now. Former police chief Ike McKinnon is joining us now. Uh, Ike, so glad for you to join us tonight. I know I've been in the city of Detroit walking the streets with you, uh, just like I did with Benny. What are your thoughts on, on his passing tonight? Well, you know, certainly it's a very difficult time for us who knew Benny personally or a little bit just knew him brutally. But, you know, you think about this in terms of this horrible, horrible uh, disease, the virus is going around, and it's taking so many of our wonderful people. And for a person, I mean, I knew Benny for the time when he joined the police department. And he, he came to work for me when I was in charge of the gang squad. And I'll never forget, I uh, was talking to him, and I said, man, you know, you're, you're going to go places. You know, you should, um, you should probably uh, do something about uh, a, a better education. And he started college, and he finished his, uh, his undergrad. And then I said, Benny, don't stop there. Let's move on to something else. So he got his law degree. And uh, I was so proud of the fact that uh, I could be a mentor for him and for others on the department. And i certainly so proud of the fact that he uh, is, has a lot of it is just a wonderful person. Wow. And the impact uh, it will be felt uh, for a long, long time in this city. Uh, I can, I guess, you know, we talk about uh, lasting legacy uh, when it comes to Betty and, and, and his impact. What do, what do you think that will be? Well, I'm I, I, to this. You know, we stand out for the Nancy Kerrigan case. And I remember Betty came to me when I was chief and he was my assistant chief. He said, Chief, he said, I just got a call from a person out in Clackamas County, Oregon, and we think that we can solve this case. And then he took this thing and ran with it and, and put literally um, uh, the, uh, us on the map in terms of what we did to solve that case, along with John O'Hare and the state police. But it was so important uh, for that. I think the legacy certainly will be a fact that he was a, a great person, but he was a, um, a, a true person who listened and tried to do everything that he could for, uh, for the people that I sent me. Yeah, you know, he, I mean, he dedicated his life to law enforcement. I know you you talked about him being on the gang squad and uh, helping to solve that Nancy Kerrigan debacle that happened in the city of Detroit. And I mean, just gone too soon at the age of 65 and with this horrible disease called COVID-19 taking his life at, at 65. But the amazing thing is that his legacy will live on. So many people remember so many good things that he did for the city of Detroit. We have much uh, more on the incredible impact Sheriff Benny Napoleon had on our community. You'll find that on our website, wdxyz.com.